Reliance Petrochemicals Reliance Group is a conglomerate headquartered in Mumbai, India. It has a wide portfolio of business and is the highest taxpayer in the Indian private sector. It accounts for over 5% of the Indian government's revenue and almost 8% of the total merchandise exports from India. The company has ranked 104th on the Fortune Global 500 list of the world's biggest corporations as of 2022. Furthermore, stay tuned to India Business Insights to unravel the Reliance conglomerate and the businesses it cater to. Company Review Reliance Industries Limited is an Indian multinational conglomerate company headquartered in Mumbai. It is one of the most profitable and revenue generating companies in India with 87 billion US dollars in revenue and 7.6 billion US dollars in earning. It is the largest publicly traded company by market capitalization in India. It is also one of the largest employers in India with over 300,000 employees in the world. Reliance Industries Limited has diverse businesses including energy, petrochemical, natural gas, retail, telecommunications, mass media and textiles. The company is ranked 100th on the Fortune Global 500 list of world's biggest corporation in 2022. Reliance continues to be India's largest exporter accounting for 7% of India's total merchandise export and has access to markets in over 100 countries. Petrochemical Industry Petrochemicals are chemical products obtained from petroleum by refining. The industry is competitive, involves a significant technological innovation, is capital intensive and operates in the global product market. In terms of production volume, the industry represents 10% of the total petroleum industry. It produces organic intermediate products such as refinery products, natural gas, plastic, rubber, fiber raw materials, etc. The petrochemicals industry has evolved out of oil and gas processing by adding value to low value by products, which have limited use in the fuels industry. The industry now produces a range of useful products like plastic, synthetic, rubber, solvents, fertilizers, pharmaceuticals, additives, explosives, and adhesives. In 2018, the global market value of the petrochemical industry was $539 billion. This number is projected to increase to $651.1 billion by 2027, with a compound annual growth of rate of 5%. The United States of America leads the global petrochemicals production. Some of the largest companies by sales in the petrochemical industry is BASF, Sinopec, Doe, Sabic, Royal Dutch, Shell, etc. Reliance Commercial Corporation was set up in 1958 by Dhirubhai Ambani as a small mid-venture firm trading commodities, especially spices and polyester yarn. In 1966, Reliance Textile Industries Private Limited was incorporated and in 1973, it became Reliance Industries Limited. In 1991-92, Hazira Petrochemical Plant was commissioned. In 1995-96, the company entered the telecom industry through a joint venture with NYNEX USA and promoted Reliance Telecom Private Limited in India. In 1998-99, the company introduced packaged LPG in 15 kg cylinders under the brand name Reliance Gas. In 2001, Reliance Industries Limited and Reliance Petroleum Limited became India's two largest companies in terms of all major financial parameters. In 2006, Reliance entered the organized retail market in India under the name Reliance Fresh. In 2010, Reliance entered the broadband services market with the acquisition of Infotel Broadband Services Limited, which was the one only successful bidder for Pan India 4th generation spectrum auction held by the Government of India. In December 2022, Reliance Industries market cap stood at Rs. 17 lakhs 59,000 and 17.23 crores. Reliance Petrochemicals Reliance Industries is one of the major players in the petrochemical sector in India. It is the flagship company of the Reliance Group and is considered as the largest private sector company of the country. Reliance Industries manufactures the maximum polyester yarn and fibre in the world and also enjoys a high position across the globe for the promotion of major petrochemical products. In 1975, the company explored the textile sector and after two years went in for a backward integration 
to produce petrochemicals. Thereafter, Reliance Industries also got involved in the refining of crude oil. The main manufacturing units of Reliance Industries are in different parts of Western India like at Naroda, Hazira, Patal Ganga and Jamnagar. The world's largest single location petrochemical complex is located in Jamnagar, Gujarat. Reliance used to have two listed subsidiaries, Reliance Polypropylene and Reliance Ethylene. Reliance Petrochem was a listed company. These were merged first into Reliance Petrochem and then Reliance Petrochem was merged into Reliance Industries Limited. Indian Petrochemical Corporation Limited IPCL was a government-owned petrochemical company in India. It was incorporated in 1969 as a wholly owned subsidiary of the Oil and Natural Gas Commission ONGC and later became a public limited company in 1988. In the late 1990s, the Indian government decided to privatize IPCL as part of its economic liberalization policies. In 2002, Reliance Industries Limited RIL, India's largest private sector company, acquired a major stake in IPCL and subsequently merged it with its own petrochemical business. The acquisition of IPCL helped RIL to consolidate its position as the leading player in the Indian petrochemical industry. Reliance is the largest producer of petrochemicals in the country and amongst the top 10 in the world. The portfolio of Reliance is spread across polymer and polyester chains. Reliance produces an extensive of polymers, elastomers, polyesters, aromatics, fiber intermediates and advanced materials. The company serves its global customers through an extensive network of offices, business partners and distributors spread across the world. The company is the world's largest integrated producer of polyester fiber and yarn, the second largest of paraxylene and among the top 10 for purified telepathic acid, monoethylene glycol and polypropylene. It is the largest producer of synthetic elastomers in India and has the world's largest refinery of gas cracker. Management Overview Le Dhirubhai Ambani is the founder of Reliance Industries. It was under his visionary leadership, the Reliance Group emerged as the largest business conglomerate in India. Mukesh Ambani is the chairman and managing director of Reliance. He initiated Reliance's backward integration journey from textiles to polyester fibers and further on to petrochemicals and petroleum refinery and going upstream into oil and gas exploration and production. He created multiple new world-class manufacturing facilities that have raised in Reliance's petrochemicals manufacturing capacities from less than a million tons to a to about 68.2 million tons per year as of 2021. Manufacturing Facilities Reliance Petrochemical operates in 12 manufacturing facilities in India and 3 in Malaysia. Some of the major petrochemical manufacturing industries in India are as follows. Number 1. Nagothane Manufacturing Division located in Maharashtra, India. This facility produces basic petrochemicals such as ethylene, propylene and polyethylene. Number 2. Hazira Manufacturing Division located in Gujarat, India. This facility produces a wide range of petrochemicals including polyesters, polyethylene terephthalate PET, purified terephthalic acid PTA and monoethylene glycol MEG. The Hage Manufacturing Division located in Gujarat, India. This facility produces a variety of petrochemical products including polypropylene, high-density polyethylene and low-density polyethylene. Number 4. Vadodara Manufacturing Division located in Gujarat, India. This facility produces a range of petrochemical products including linear alkyl benzene, monoethylene glycol, purified terephthalic acid and polypropylene. Number 5. Jamnagar Refinery. This is the largest refinery in the world with a capacity of 1.24 million barrels per day. It uses advanced technologies such as FCC, hydrocracking and delayed coking to produce a wide range of high value products such as gasoline, diesel, jet fuel and petrochemicals. Business sectors in Reliance Petrochemicals Number 1. Polymers 
Reliance Polymers has Repol, Rerene, Rion, Relpipe as product brands under the polymers business sector of the company. Repol includes products like Homo Polymer, Random Core Polymer, and Impact Core Polymer. Homo Polymer is available in a wide range of melt flows and is designed to suit the requirements of various applications such as injection and blow molding. IPP and BOPP firms woven snacks, FIBC and fibers. Random copolymer grades are designed to meet critical requirements of injection and blow molded clear containers, pipes and fittings. Impact copolymer grades are tailored to meet the requirements of various applications such as automotive, appliances, furniture, paint pails, caps, enclosures, luggage, crates and compounding. Relene offers the entire range of polyethylene, high density polyethylene, linear low density polyethylene and low density polyethylene. High uh, density polyethylene that is HDPE grades are specially designed to meet demanding applications like high pressure pipe, telecom ducts, carrier bags, woven snacks, injection and blow molded products. LLDPE that is low density linear low density polyethylene grades are used extensively in specialty films milk and edible oil packaging lamination films cast films stretch films and other applications like rotational molding and injection molded products now ldpe that is low density polyethylene grades find in extensive use in heavy duty films lamination films extrusion coating and molding application Rion, that is PVC. Reliance is India's largest manufacturer of suspension grade polyvinyl chloride with a wide range of viscosities. Rion finds use in agriculture, buildings, construction, packaging, electricals, electronics, and consumer goods. Rel pipe. Reliance is rel uh, state of the art poly fence pipe. Manufacturing can process a variety of polyolefins including PE80 and PE100 resins. Rel pipe is available in a wide range of size and specifications to suit various applications in agriculture, water supply, plumbing, industrial, telecom dub and gas distribution. Number 2. Polyesters Reliance is the largest producer of polyester fiber and yarn in the world with capacity of 2.5 million tons per annum. This was the first big backward integration for Reliance Industries Limited from textiles. Polyester Staple Fiber The brands covered under Polyester Staple Fiber is Recron, Staple Fiber and Toe. Recron Fiber Fill, Recron 3S, Fibers for Reinforcement and Recron Certified. The products covered under these brands are Staple Fibers, Automotive Battery, Paper, Filtration Fabrics, Asbestos, Cement Sheets, etc. Polyester Filament Yarn The brand under Polyester Filament Yarn is Recron Partially Oriented Yarn. Recron Polyester Textured Yarn Recron Fully Drawn Yarn and Recron Industrial Yarns. The product range includes Super High Tenacity Yarns, Adhesive Activated Yarns, Low Shrinkage Yarns, HMLS Yarn, etc. Number 3rd Elastomers Reliance produces synthetic rubber under the brand names Reflex and Reliance Cyber Elastomers Private Limited. Elastomers are used across a variety of applications including tires, footwear, sports goods, rollers and mechanical fenders etc. Next is Fiber Intermediates. The fiber intermediate sector at Reliance consists of the purified terephthalic acid PTA, ethylene glycols EG and ethylene oxide EO business. Reliance is amongst the largest global producer of these products, that is fourth largest in PTA, sixth largest in EG. Reliance has the largest volume share in the domestic market for PTA and EG and are the only merchant supplier of EO in India. Number 5. Aromatics Aromatics is one of the major product lines of the petrochemical sector at Reliance Industries Limited. The product range under the aromatics business sector is paraxylene, odd xylene, benzene, linear alkyl benzene, and paraffin. Reliance is the second largest producer of paraxylene in the world. Paraxylene is the building block of, for the entire polyester industry. 
Reliance is among the top producers of orthoxylene in the world. The major application of orthoxylene is for production of phthalic anhydride. Number 6 composite solution. Reliance composite solution RCS has a state of the art manufacturing facility located at Varodra. These composites processing units consist of 3 feed stock and 7 finished good plants. Composites fiber reinforced polymers that is FRP have a huge market and are used in a variety of end use applications like wind energy, railways, aerospace and infrastructure. Technological innovation. Reliance has invested significant amounts on R&D in the polyester sector with the establishment of Reliance Technology Center, Reliance Testing Center and Reliance Fiber Application Center to constantly develop and introduce innovative products for the textile industry. The company has invested in state of the art advanced refining technologies such as fluidized catalytic cracking, hydro cracking and detailed and delayed coking to improve the yield of high value products such as gasoline, diesel and jet fuel. The company has also invested in sustainable technologies, digitalization, advanced analytics and biotechnology. Financial analysis The company's revenue for the petrochemical sector have been increasing year on year, indicating strong performance in this sector. The EBI TDA has remained stagnant year on year but has been profitable and suggests efficient operations. In terms of company's total debt, it has been fluctuating year on year. The company has been taking on more debt in year, recent years to fund expansion and growth opportunities. The compounded annual growth rate CAGR of Reliance Petrochemical business from 2012 to 2020 was around 8.5%. Liquidity ratio. The company has maintained strong liquidity ratios over the years, indicating a strong ability to meet its short-term obligations. The company's current ratio has increased from 1.48 in 2017 to 1.61 in 2018 and later reduced to 1.81 in 2020. profitability ratio Reliance Petrochemicals has shown consistent profitability over the years with strong gross margins and operating margins the gross margin increased from 13.96% in 2017 to 15.36% in 2018 and then to 16.68% in 2019 solvency ratio solvency ratio measures the company's ability to meet its long term obligations The company's solvency ratios have been mixed over the years. The debt to equity ratio increased from 0.72 in 2017 to 0.75 in 2018 and then decreased to 0.66 in later year. Overall, Reliance Petrochemicals has maintained strong financial ratios over the years, indicating a solid financial position. Conclusion. Reliance Industries Limited intends to invest 75,000 crores rupees in the next 5 years to expand petrochemical capacity in setting up a PTA plant expanding polyester capacity tripling capacity of vinyl chain and a chemical unit in UAE the company has plans to expand its petrochemical capacity by 70% over the next few years enabling it to serve a wider range of customers and potentially capture new markets as a part of its plans to become a net zero carbon company by 2035 The company is focusing on developing and producing more sustainable products.